Hi folks, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at heavily rusted swords with steel chipping using this Skaven short sword from Warhammer Fantasy. We are going to start by applying a base coat of dried bark all over the blade. I will be applying this as two thin coats to get solid coverage over the short sword. Once the base coat has dried, we'll be coming in with some Mournfang Brown, again from Games Workshop. We're going to be using a technique called stippling. Now this is very similar to dry brushing, except you have slightly more paint on the bristles of your brush than you would as if you were dry brushing. And instead of doing a backwards and forwards motion across a miniature, you want to sort of stab the surface area. This will give a graduation of color, but it will also start adding some texture into the blade. Just like dry brushing, you want to build up the colour of this rather than trying to get it all on at once. Here I do two passes so the blade goes from a dark brown to a middling orangey brown. Next we'll be coming in with Terracotta from Vallejo's Game Color range. This is a nice brick orangey red and will give us a nice transition between the browns and the orange we're going to apply in a minute. Once again we are going to be stippling with this color but focusing towards the more edges of the blade and the areas that we want to start to turn really orangey and rusty. Don't go over all the previous Mournfang brown step. We want to try and build up a, a gradient of color here. Next we will be coming in with Troll Slayer Orange, again from Games Workshop. This is a nice bright orange colour that will be used to depict fresh rust on the blade. Once again we will be doing a stippling motion to paint this miniature, however here we will be wanting to focus on the cutting surfaces of the blade. Lastly, we will be coming in with Stormhost Silver from Games Workshop. This is a really bright silver and we will be using it to apply a chipping motion to the cutting edges of the blade to give it the impression that it has been sharpened to be used as a tool.
rather than doing a straight edge highlight on all of the cutting surfaces of the blade, what I'm doing here is tapping at the side of the point of the brush along some of the edges. This is giving the impressions of an uneven finish and chips in the cutting surface. Here I'm also applying an edge highlight, but I'm making sure not to cover 100% of the cutting area to show that only little bits of the blade have been sharpened. What you can also do is apply thin lines from the center of the surface out towards the cutting edge of the blade. And this gives the impression that the rust hasn't completely taken over and it allows you to show for some pop marks and chips onto the flatter surfaces as well as the cutting edge. and with those chips applied this heavily rusted sword is complete this is perfect for use on Nurgle miniatures or for weapons that you want to give the appearance of being rusted underwater for hundreds of years and as usual I will post a picture at the end of this video to show the finished result